Uh, other than that, I've put like 40 hours into Power World. Of course, um, Power World, the <laughs> big thing that has- Oh uh, yeah. Bro, it's, what a shit show on Twitter. It's yeah. crazy because like, w what's funny is that I talk to people who aren't on Twitter. Yeah. And they're like, what? I just played the game. I thought it was cool, kind of cool. <laughs> and I was like, you know, there's like a whole shit storm going on. I right? think that's most things yeah. nowadays. But it, it's, it's making me appreciate or how isolated Twitter has become in, in terms of public discourse. Yeah. Like there are a lot of people who I guess would kind of, it kind of felt like news used to be on Twitter and discussion used to be on there, but now it seems to be more so that Twitter is slowly becoming just rage and mm. what people are angry about. All right, you, and this you, has been the peak, peak example of that, especially with the amount of misinformation going around. Yeah. You, you want to know a conspiracy theory okay, that tell me, actually, tell me. Uh, okay, actually okay. Like, think might be actually happening? Yeah. You heard about like the dead internet theory? Uh, I think I actually have heard of Oh, uh, that they're all like bots? Yeah, that's, I think 90% of replies and interactions you see online are bots. And the more <laughs> I browse Twitter, the more I'm like, wait a minute. Let me get my tin fall. I know we had an entire episode on conspiracy theories, yeah. but I think this one, huh. this one, I'm just like, yeah, yeah. The dead internet theory is the online conspiracy theory that asserts that the internet now consists mainly of bot activity and automatically generated content that is manipulated by algorithmic curation. And I'm like, this is, this yeah, is just Twitter to a T. I mean, it just feels that way because people you're talking to are brain dead. I mean, uh, if it had- th That's the thing. I yeah. actually like genuinely can't tell if people are brain dead or if there are bots because I like, how can you tell the well, difference? Well, I, I, I think- the We biggest... need to do like a Turing test on all these like accounts, bro. We need I just, to see. I, I just think the worst change they made was basically how Twitter handles replies and handling paid users to appear higher oh, up. Yeah. Bro, when I see a blue check mark now, I'm like, are you a- person or are you a bot? But it, it just kind of ruined it tell. and it made it seem that, man, it just made it a lot worse. Cause it felt like before when a, something kind of reasonable or an argument was being made that was more reasonable. Mm. Yeah. Uh, often, you know, people would kind of be like, yeah, that, that makes more sense. Yeah. And it's not, it's not uh, inflammatory. Uh, it would kind of get, it would kind of go to the top and it kind of yeah. felt like there was more discourse. Whereas now it's more like, okay, you have a check mark. You, you saying something abhorrent gets to the front yeah. or you're, you just throwing around accusations goes to the top or whatever. And, well, I think the new yeah. check mark on Twitter now is not the blue tick. It's the thing next to the blue tick, which is like, this account is associated with this legitimate company, yeah, you know, yeah. which is what and we also, are. Like that's the new one. So yeah. quote retreats. I think quote retreats is probably one of the, like that becoming a huge thing became one of the worst things. Well, yeah. no, it's, 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 it kind of helped in the start to kind of people who had turned off replies or were blocking people. Mm -hmm. It was kind of helpful for allowing people to kind of call out bad actors. And then it slowly became this kind of dunking trend where R now it's ratio, all about dunking or ratio ratioing. Ratio started yeah. was a fun thing until yeah. every tweet was a ratio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, everyone's trying to one up each other. Everyone's yeah. trying to dunk on it. <laughs> and you're almost rewarded for spreading just fucking Like it's not even, it, it, it doesn't even have to be like something opinionated that you're quote yeah. retweeting, but like you can just like, it, it, it can just be like, oh, I had a nice mm. day today. And then it's just yeah. someone quote trading with L plus ratio, you went outside. Yeah. Like, but like right or wrong, it's just been absolutely fascinating and also super depressing just seeing the discourse around this game where everyone is just arguing about a different thing and no one- What's no the one's discourse about? Yeah, so, okay, okay so- Okay, okay, had, oh my God, okay, there so, is. So okay. I, had, I had heard about this game coming out before it actually uh, got released. Right. I should have, I should have prepared a, a timeline yeah, for you. But yeah, I have not happened. played the game. I've only seen images of okay, it. Okay, so this game- yeah. It's Pokemon with guns, right? Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah. for the lack of better words. Yes. So this game kind of comes out of nowhere, for example. Yeah. This trailer starts picking up some steam two or three days before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some creators start getting codes and people start playing it and realizing, hey, this is, this is pretty fun. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and then it starts to slowly gain an audience. The game releases and starts selling like crazy. And then this is now where the eyes of the- because I feel like when a game does well, it's it's it does whatever. But then when a game does well to the point where people who don't care about games are starting to look at it, mm. that's when stuff starts to happen. Sure. And obviously, it is worryingly similar to not just Pokemon, but a lot of games. Sure. Um, for example, you open a chest. It sounds very similar to Breath of the Wild. You okay. discover a new location. Very similar to Breath of the Wild. Okay. You fight monsters. It feels very similar to Monster Hunter. It's like an AI generated game. Almost. <laughs> but yeah, and it looks well, because it's got that Unreal Engine look. Yeah. Oh, um, okay, okay. It's got this Unreal, Unreal Engine, Engine look. Unreal Engine 5, right? I think this Yes, one? Yeah. so it's got, this is like, and the problem is because a lot of asset flips get put into those type of engines. So it, this mm -hmm. kind of has a bad stigma. So it does look kind of bad, but it's very, very, very similar to Pokemon Arceus. Mm, right. But then there's some locations that look like they've ripped it out of Elden Ring. Right. There's some places that, I mean, and then it started this whole discourse then of where, because it was such a popular thing, this Twitter kind of 
It's all, and also because you have to remember now, people get paid for having tweets that get seen a lot. Mm. That's, that's the worst. Which is a Fucking hard move, which awful. is probably the worst thing that Twitter could have ever done. Yeah. yeah, I firmly believe that incentivizing people to get views on Twitter and not just like have a discourse, but like actively reward money because then that means people, there's no, there's no kind of, um, you're not like holding yourself accountable for any reason because there's no, before it was just, a, your it was just your platform mm, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. like but now it's like there are people out there who have no no desire to have any kind of shame or be affected by that it's purely like how do i make as much money as possible sure yeah. and, the, and the ad revenue is shit by the way yeah i got paid like 19 dollars last month from x uh you really paid? yeah you, should, you could sign up for it no i, was curious I, I have money. as well i think i think the most i got paid in a month getting paid? all of december i got 19 dollars i i think i think yeah. december i got paid yeah something so, somewhere like 25 dollars so Basically, what ended up happening is that people were starting to look at it and people had noticed that it looked <laughs> so, very- Cops just like yeah. held up with the fact that we're getting- <laughs> Wait, you guys are getting paid? We're getting, I got like $19. We got like, pocket change from Elon. I got, I got one Uber Eats. <laughs> yeah, it okay, was like so, two meals. <laughs> so obviously you look at these and you see, okay, wow, these look, there is some kind of inspiration. Sure. Whether it's plagiarism or not became mm -hmm. a huge argument. And that was, sure. like, that was like the day one argument was, is this copying Pokemon too much? Yeah. yeah. Day two argument was, they're using AI because the Japanese creator was kind of, uh, was pretty vocal about uh, being somewhat supportive uh, of some AI projects, but there's no sure. proof that there's AI in the game. Sure. But of course, Twitter ran with it and started saying that kind of stuff. Whether or not there is or not, there might be by the time this game comes out, uh, by the time this video comes out, there might be proven that there is. But the point it was is that I guess, and then a lot of people got annoyed that it was kind of being unfairly accused of being using AI mm. and maybe stealing, for example, some mesh models. Mm. But then there was some, uh, someone later admitted the guy who had compared the p meshes between a Pokemon and a pal, he had resized or kind of done something. Yeah. There was this whole weird thing where everyone was arguing different arguments all at the same time. And then there was a, a fan base of people who were like, I don't care what the fuck they did as long as they make Nintendo make a fun game. Because mm. this shit is way more fun than any Nintendo sure, game. Sure. Yeah. And so then there was this argument going on. And it's kind of become just absolute shit show where everyone is shouting different things into the void and different people are, feel like they should defend different things. Mm. Um, and the ultimate question is like, does it yeah, yeah, but how's plagiarize? It but it's a fun game and that's the worst part of it. <laughs> there we go. We uh, were, how's the game? Done and dusted. <laughs> and the worst part is, is that I think that they are definitely I mean, from a personal perspective, they definitely, it feels way too close to, to Pokemon yeah. in certain I th settings. I think the only argument that, I th that is kind of valid in this instance, at least for me personally, is the comparison between Pokemon games, right? Yeah, yeah. In the sense that like, you know, as a Pokemon fan myself, I think this game being so successful and it being compared to Pokemon, mm. I think is a good wake up call for Nintendo. That's what a lot of people are arguing. Yeah. But a lot of people are like, yeah, but you can, you can say that without arguing that like, No, you good. can't yeah. because this is Nintendo we're talking about. Would you, would you say the, let's say the feel and the you know feeling of plagiarism or, or like because there's always oh, a yeah. question between yeah, it's plagiarism yeah, it's a, I, and I'm, inspiration i'm playing you know? and it feels uncomfortably close right right like you even like breath of the wild it, like right. but then again it's the same question of because I, I remember this is it uh, plagiarism this, or is it inspiration no because well, I, I remember this kind of discussion happening when genshin first released if you if you, it's it's if, if you think that this is like plagiarizing for example like breath of the wild mm -hmm. then i guess you'd it would have to be the same. It's the, the same level as Genshin of like, right. but then like open world games that you can explore, that's not something you can plagiarize. Is right. it like a very similar style and approach to how Breath of the Wild did it? Yes, I think so. But mm -hmm. the same way that Genshin is. And again, I, I'm not trying to defend this but game. But there were open like, world games before Breath of the Wild yeah, as well. Yeah, I'm not, right? I'm not trying so. to defend this game, yeah. but um, uh, like, I think cause it's the Pokemon collab uh, is way too close. It's way, 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 way too close. Yeah, cause like uh, I'm looking just like, at some the, of these pictures and I'm looking at some of these monsters and I'm like, oh, that looks like that Lucario, Pokemon. Yeah. That looks like, that looks like Lucario. The fuck, like, there's the there's, one that looks like Rowlet just, up there. Yeah. There's just some things that they did that just baffles me why they did the exact- That looks like Leafeon. Do, do you know what this <laughs> looks like? Um, like, you know, sometimes you're browsing on YouTube or some fucking site you shouldn't be on yeah. and you see this ad of this weird mobile game yeah, yeah, that gets yeah, advertised. Yeah, yeah. You know you know what I mean? The one yeah. that looks like a Pokemon game, the, right? The, the, yeah. No, 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 it could be like any mobile, like any weird mobile game of, it's like a fucking, maybe it's a League ripoff or right. maybe it's yeah. a Pokemon ripoff yeah, or yeah, yeah. a Sumbic ripoff. And you're like, there is no way this game yeah. exists. And then you look into it and it's just like, oh, this is just a fake uh, build or whatever. Yeah. But it kind of feels like the creators have just looked at all the games they like mm. and just take Taken every single aspect from every game they like and mm -hmm. shoved it into one, but also maybe 
kind of copied the style of all those things a little too much. Yeah. Like like I was mentioning earlier, there's some things they copied too much, which I think were just completely unnecessary to copy. Um, like when you when you catch a, a, a mon or pal or whatever you want to call mm. it. A mon? I, I call them mons because I refuse to call them pal because it reminds me too much of Chris Chan and I don't like calling them because he calls everyone pals. Um, so, I think that's a you problem. Yeah, it is absolutely a you problem. <laughs> like the ball, when you throw it, it wiggles three times. You could have just not done that. Like, why did you... It's like, right. if you wanted to avoid the plagiarism accusations, why would you make it so that so many little things- and Even if, just the fact you have to throw a ball shaped thing in order to catch it as well. I mean, I it's, kinda, it's kinda hard and I get that's kind of unavoidable, but- um, At least change the shape, you know, make it a cube or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I don't think little things like that would have been bad if they mm. hadn't have had so many designs that are too closely inspired. Sure. But then yeah. a lot of people argued that then the designs are inspired, Pokemon designs are inspired from yokai or mythology you know, and or dragon or real quest, animals. Or real animals <laughs> yeah. even. Like yeah. people were arguing that the sheeps look too same to the Pokemon sheep. People like, it's a fucking sheep dog. Yeah, <laughs> Which I agree with. Yeah. Um, and I think that, I think you can have the same conversation of the sheeps don't, aren't a fucking copy, yeah. but hey, that Lucario looks awfully a lot like the Lucario. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just looking at this, right? Go to the top image, like that third one Leafeon, there. Yeah. That straight up looks like Leafeon. Yeah, absolutely. Like That's, it's not even- Like I think, I think you can say that they copied, they not copied, but inspired. Even the color palette is exactly yeah. the same as Leafeon. Some of the things are, I, I think even if it, there is no legal, battle here, right? I yeah. think as a as a consumer, you can be like, yeah, this feels a little too close. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, Pokemon fans are so starved for a good fucking game that I think they are just rejoicing at the fact that they basically get to get the game no, they wanted. I, I agree. Look, as which a is weird. Yeah, yeah, I think as a Pokemon fan, I think this game becoming successful is great for the Pokemon community because it is putting pressure, I think, or I'd like to hope series. it is putting pressure yeah. until Nintendo sues. Well, but I think, I think, I think it's putting can... pressure on Nintendo to be well, like, hey, I, uh, make yeah. a fucking good game. But yeah. I don't think that that has to mean that the company's success is, uh, we should be super, uh, ah, it's so tough. Cause I think that statement can exist whilst also being like, hey, you guys took a little too much. Well, right. I, th I think like objectively, yeah. like what this proved, uh, you know, is there is a huge gap in the market. You know, there is, yeah. I, I don't think, I mean, mm. I mean, okay, people are getting mad because this game got popular, of course. And yeah. I don't think there would be this entire discourse around it if this game wasn't breaking records left, right, and center. Oh yeah, yeah. fuck no. If this, if this had faded yeah. into obscurity, no one would give a fuck. Yeah. yeah, and I think the reason this is breaking le records left, right, and center is because there is a clear gap in the market of what people want in their video games. Yeah. We just want and a we lot just of, want a Pokemon game in Unreal Engine Five. Yeah. That's what we've been. It was it before. was like put together by a bunch of Japanese dudes, and one of them was like a combini worker yeah. student yeah. Yeah. who was like, "Oh yeah, I can make guns," and he just yeah. made the guns. And apparently, the reason they added guns to the game was because they said Americans like to shoot things. <laughs> Um, and I'm I mean, inclined, they've been proven right. <laughs> and I'm inclined to agree with them because there's this like fucking bear thing. I mean, I, I just unlocked that Gatling gun. Right. Uh, and yeah, you literally can just gun down these things. Uh, and it's it's insane and it's very I, fun. I, th I think all the clips I've seen of Power World, it just, you know, you know, it's it's a game that, it, okay, there's this thing about plagiarism, taking things from different games. It just seems like a game that hits every single gamer instinct you could ever put have in yeah, like one the, single the game. The base yeah. building is really fun. You have yeah. a base that you build and you essentially Open make world, a factory. Base yeah. building, cute monsters, And then when you guns. catch them, it's not like in, you know, it's not like in, uh, in Pokemon where you catch these thing and you only use like the six in your party, you make them work. You put them to work in your base. <laughs> And like you make them mine, you make them cut wood, you make them make food, you do all Go this. my slaves. Yeah, it's like it literally. literally what was this a fucking isekai you can also, simulator? You can also catch people. I don't know if you knew this. You uh, catch people? You, you can, so you can actually make real slaves? You can catch people, you can sell them for money <laughs> and you can make them work for free. Wait, I, I think, could, I think. Whoa. And you could also. It reminds me of something. You can also butcher the Pokemon. Is this plagiarism? <laughs> you can also butcher the people and the Pokemon for resources uh, as well. Holy shit. I call them Pokemon. I, I, yeah, I just, you know. <laughs> wow, it is nothing like Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, it. Yeah, it just seems like a game where. I mean, look this, at that thing. That just fucking. This, <sighs> it's it's a car crash of different genres and different. And it's also aspects. so buggy. It's so fucking funny. Oh, really? Yeah. You just you'll hit an enemy sometime that'll just fly away, <laughs> and you're like, okay. How many hours have you put into it? Like forty. I'm like nearly done with it. <laughs> Jesus, I've nearly Jesus. like I've nearly got everything. Uh, but what's also great is that like you could just have like five of your friends come just fucking bolt to come in the world and fucking chill out. 
Yeah, like, well, which all, is what they what they try to and do. And you in can the do Pokemon like a Monster game. Hunter esque raid where you're all trying to catch this one thing. Yeah, yeah. and it might have like a one percent chance, but you have to make the balls as well. You can't buy them; you have to make them. Well, yeah. So you have to you have to like really manage your resources. And again, that was something Pokemon tried to do with the newest game, and it just completely fucking failed. Well, Arceus felt so like kind of well, even Violet and Scarlet with the multiplayer segment. It was just yeah. so like unintuitive, and the fact that. That because it's on Steam, I can literally just be like, "Hey, Joe, join my world. Pop, you're in. You're yeah. in two seconds. Yeah, yeah. And you can join at any time. There's no weird kind of restrictions. Yeah. And it's and you can also, they allow you to adjust all the settings of the server. So if you want to get XP way faster, you can do it. If you want to catch stuff easier, if you mm. want to get more drops, right. If you want to like creative mode. Yeah. There's like yeah. there's like raids on your base. You can turn them off. So while you're out, they might come and raid your base to quickly get back and save your base from being yeah. demolished. It's really fucking cool. Like there's, it's a like such a cool game idea that is kind of Just unfor- so unfortunately- many mechanics points It's unfortunately has this cloud of, did it copy too much? Mm. Um, and it's, it, you know, it's kind Do of- Do you think most people care about that? No, no, I, I think there is this unfortunate lack of caring from consumers that don't care about how their art is made and how it's consumed. Um, <laughs> and I think it's a shame. Mm. Yeah. But it's also how it's always been. The consumer rarely cares about how art is made. They just want it made. And it's it's almost like shouting at a brick wall, hoping that the consumer will care about where their art comes mm. from. Yeah. You know, there are some people who look look at a painting or look at a 3D model of a of a, a, a game. They'll look at this, you know, like Elden Ring. You might look at a boss. And like someone might look at that and think, holy shit, the amount of work that must have gone into design must model yeah. animate rig this thing must have been absolutely painstaking and must and, and a lot of people have interest learning that and a lot of people do not give a fuck and they just think that no. this thing gets made and it's made because it got made yeah Pretty and much. they don't realize that maybe a boss character took thousands of collective hours and painstaking work to make it come to life like that is kind of sounds can't. like the anime community doesn't it <laughs> it's oh, this and, and, it's and, the as, same, same and as, yeah. as we have proven time and time again with, with the animator situation, yep. consumers do not give a fuck how the thing gets made yep. as yep. long as it gets made. As long as the end product is good. And yep. it is so unfortunate because I, I think that I'd love for this world to coexist where we could have everyone care about how the art is made. Mm. You know, and I think to, I watched all of Jujutsu Kaisen. Did I have a moral obligation to not do that? I don't mm. know. It's weird. Like, I don't know where, I don't know what I should and shouldn't do. Right. All I know is that it's bad and that we want it to change. Mm. So much so that every single time my fucking little pals are walking away, everyone's like, oh, it's a mapper studio in there. <laughs> <laughs> like that's become synonymous now Jesus. with like horrible working yeah. conditions. Like yeah. it's a joke now. Like what is the, what, like what is the- like They, they fail to realize that's still an actual massive problem that is outside of that immediate and thing as I well. Guess, I guess that's why it's so hard to really get invested in, in this because you yeah. don't know- I don't I mean, know what the right stance is you to don't, take you don't, you don't, what, even, what is the right thing to argue for? Even with what you described with Power World, I don't even know what the problem is. Uh, not not like, I don't know what the core problem, I don't know what like the singular problem is because yeah. it seems like there are multiple and everyone's problems fighting a being fight. disc- yeah. and everyone's yeah. fighting a different thing and you're like, and at the end of the day, consumer's gonna see that shit show going on this one little side of the internet and be like, fuck this shit, I'm just gonna play the game. Yeah, and at you the know? end of the day, the Power World creators are just raking in the money from the amount of hype uh, yeah, and like talk. 200, 200 million in sales so far. Yeah. The second most concurrent players of any Steam Fucking game ever. Yeah. Um, it's it's the, the the success of this game is something we've never seen before. Yeah. yeah. This is truly like on another level. Yeah. Um, and it's frustrating as being an, uh, like an opposition as well, because I want to make sure that, you know, with our platform and what I'm doing is that we're sending out the right message there mm-hmm. and that, that we we care about artists and how art is made because I think it's important to care about how Absolutely. art is made. Absolutely. But I don't, I don't know as somebody who is in this weird kind of commentary, kind of not in the process, but a consumer and a lot of people's viewing point of how like the where this like a lot of people might experience the art through me interacting with it mm. in some sense. Yeah. How do I have a responsible way of? sharing that. I don't know. It's, well, like, I, I mean, know. you know, it's like, difficult. How do, how do you it, talk about Jujutsu Kaisen without well, constantly having That's the having thing, to- right? It's difficult, as you said, like, you know, some people are obviously going to care about the yeah. underlying problems that are legitimate problems, but yeah. it's also very difficult to try and convince people yeah. on how they should think or, you know, what stance they should take because this is the internet and everyone's fucking opinionated. They're not going to budge 
because just because someone told them that they、mm. should think a certain way, you know. But I, I there's also, nothing, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. Yeah, but it's also a shame because I, I feel like sometimes I feel like, man, I, I feel like.、Um, I sometimes have the wrong mindset on this as well, where I think maybe I'm part of the problem when I'm consuming this anime, and I think that, but it's really fucking good. And how do I change?、Right. How do I change my perspective on that? Because I don't know.、Mm. Like I, like I, I'm watching this thing, and I, I'm, and I hear about these stories, and I want to know how the fuck do I? What is the best thing to do here? I don't know. And how do I change my mind about how I feel about、yeah. this?、Mm-hmm. How do I feel differently about this media? Personally, you should. Uh, worry less about、yeah. what other what other people perceive you because I'm sure we might have said something in here that would have offended some people.、Mm. But you get to a point, and at least I had this realization. Yeah, you get to a point when you realize, you know, people look at us with a big reach, but even with a reach our big,、yeah. we can only we can only do so much. And yeah, it's it's a it's a it's an unwinnable game of just always being able to figure out what to do, what is the right thing、yeah. to do about. A certain topic. There are some certain、Absolutely. topics we know more about. There are some cer- certain topics we don't know more about.、Uh, what I've come to value is an acting change that I have control of. Yeah, there yeah, are some things where it's frustrating because you feel like it's out of your control,、mm. yeah. and you want there to be change, but there's just no control there. And the more the more I realize what I can control and what I can't control, the more、mm. like with Power World. I can't fucking control. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I, I can't. I can't fucking control that. And there is this argument about is this is it ethical to consume or not? And at the end of the day, I like personally like if you choose to consume it or don't consume it. Personally, I don't. I don't know how much of a big difference you can make. Yeah, yeah. You know? Also, we're we're in the middle of it, so it could be in,、yeah. in five years from now that might be a clear. You know, consensus. Yeah, we're too yeah. far into the、yeah. the gray zone of this right、yeah. now, where we don't know if there's an actual I mean,、yeah. correct right or wrong. I think the one thing that, that it pisses me off sometimes when I'm I'm like playing a fucking video game and someone's like, "Hey, you should talk about this thing," and I'm like, "I'm I, what do you want me to say?" Yeah, <laughs> I, I I am like, I'll talk into, about it if I want to talk about like, it. Like、know? I、uh, I <laughs> like what is me gonna do talking about this thing to this audience like who already have already probably made up their own mind, have their own personal opinions about it. It's like me. I am like the McDonald's equivalent of like a on the Michelin star chef world. Like I'm at the bottom of this chain of、uh, producing slop. No, people.、Yeah. I've come to notice people who ask that kind of shit to you.、Uh, they don't actually want to hear your opinion.、This、they they are either、that. sitting、yeah. on either side of the fence and they want to hear someone that they admire g- and get validation from them. Really, I feel、yeah. like sometimes people just want you to agree with them and say the thing they agree. Well, no, yeah, that's exactly yeah, what it is. And it's like、yeah. you know, it's like if you're sitting on one side of the fence or the other, and like I go up to you, for example, and say like, "Hey, can you talk about this issue? Which side do you agree with?" Yeah. If you agree with My side, then great. The ship is sailing. If、yeah. I don't agree with, if I don't agree with whatever you say, oh, there's a, another reason to hate you. You know, and it's well, like, well, then、yeah. what the fuck? Either way, I'm not winning because yeah, I'm yeah. throwing myself into this conversation that I didn't want to throw myself into. That's why you haven't heard anything、yeah. from me yet.、Yeah. If I wanted to join the conversation, you didn't have to ask me. I would have said something. No,、yeah. it, it, you know? it, it feels like you know, with especially with something like Twitter or modern. Uh, problems.、Mm. It seems like everyone needs to have an opinion. Yeah, I think everyone yeah. just needs. I, I I think the world can actually you know move on more if you. A lot of people realize you don't have to have an opinion about everything. Yeah, you know you can do your best to be educated, but we're all fucking human. You know,、yeah. there's, there's only so much we can intake and so much we can emotionally get invested in and care about. You know, there are some issues that unfortunately I have no. Personal investment in, you know, as much as,、yeah. uh, you know, because in this day and age, it seems like I need to be invested in everything going on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. all around the world. It's hard.、Uh, and no it's, one I, person can do that. I don't think that. the human brain can truly comprehend、no. this many issues and、uh, not go fucking crazy. Yeah, not go de- depressed. Absolutely. Fortunately, so yeah, it's been a weird game, and it's kind of made a lot of interesting conversation.